Croat Cat vs. Chartreux Cat What are the differences between these two cat breeds? The silver blue Croat cats with the emerald green eyes are said to date to the 14th century based on their depiction in ancient literature. They are a medium-sized cat, weighing from 6 to 10 pounds. The Chartreux might well be compared to a mime, silent but communicative and sometimes silly. The Chartreux typically weighs between 7 and 16 pounds. The smart and opinionated Korat is possessive of his people. He likes to stay close by and won't desert them for visitors. He gives his heart to one or two people whose company he prefers, or with whom he spends the most time, but he's certainly willing to accept affection from others as well. Be aware of this propensity before you get a Korat, just in case having a cat follow you around all the time would drive you crazy. A Korat is not a loner. He does best with companionship, whether that is someone who works at home or another animal. There's a reason, it seems, that traditionally they were always given in pairs. A Korat who is frequently left alone or ignored may develop behavior problems such as aggression or separation anxiety. That's not to say that adult Korats can't switch their affections. Cats placed in new homes quickly adapt and bond closely with their new family. This is an energetic cat who enjoys learning tricks, playing fetch, and even walking on a leash. If you have multiple cats, be sure you have plenty of toys to go around. The Karat did not learn to share in the kitty garden, and he can be stubborn about giving up toys or other objects that he views as his. Although he can be bold with definite likes and dislikes, the Karat is generally a quiet cat who likes a quiet environment. Although he's not known for being talkative, he is capable of making many different sounds, from a chirp to a scream, when he wants to get his point across. Choose the Karat if you enjoy having a lap cat. He will be pleased to fulfill this desire any time you like. The Chartreux might well be compared to a mime, silent but communicative and sometimes silly. Short playtimes interspersed with naps and meals are his idea of the perfect day. When he is not displaying his superb timing and pouncing ability, killing toys with abandon, or performing acrobatic flips as he chases a lure toy, he is an attentive and gentle companion who likes to stay near his people and observe their doings. He appreciates any attention he receives, especially if it involves scratching him beneath the chin or between the ears, but he's not demanding, content to follow you around devotedly, sleep on your bed and snuggle with you if you're not feeling well. He rarely uses his voice, preferring to direct your actions with a glance from his pumpkin-colored eyes. If need be, however, he may communicate with a small meow or chirp. Make a habit of observing him carefully and being familiar with his actions since it is unlikely that he will vocalize any discomfort or make any sound to let you know where he is. This is an adaptable cat with a middle-of-the-road personality. He's not a social butterfly, but he's not a shy wallflower, either. Expect him to watch and wait before deciding whether to greet a guest or otherwise involve himself in a situation. His calm nature makes him suited to staying home alone while you are out earning the money for his treats and toys but he won't object to keeping company with another cat or dog. As long as you keep his routine similar each day, he will be a happy camper. Both pedigreed cats and mixed breed cats have varying incidences of health problems that may be genetic in nature. Karats and Chartreux are generally healthy, but they have a couple of issues buyers should be aware of. A genetic neuromuscular degenerative disease, as well as low body fat, can be seen in Karat, which can make them sensitive to anesthesia. GM1 and GM2 gangliosidosis occur when cats lack particular enzymes that are necessary for the proper functioning of the nervous system. Fortunately, tests are available to identify cats that carry the diseases, so the condition is uncommon. Karats typically have a low percentage of body fat, so veterinarians should take this into account when determining how much and what type of anesthesia to give in when a karat is undergoing any type of surgery. Be sure to ask a breeder about the incidence of health problems in her lines and what testing has been done for any that are genetic in nature. In the case of GM1 or GM2, both parents should have been tested, and if one is positive or a carrier, the kitten should be tested as well. Patellar luxation can be seen in Chartreux. It is a hereditary dislocation of the kneecap that can range from mild to severe. Mild patellar luxation rarely causes problems. Severe cases cause lameness but can be alleviated with surgery. Hello. This video is sponsored by BMix Pets. Are you looking for high quality cat collars at an affordable cost? Check out bmixpets.com. Use coupon code KITTENLIFE to get 20% off. The Korat and Chartreux short single coats require little grooming. Comb it weekly to remove any dead hairs. A bath is rarely necessary. Brush the teeth to prevent periodontal disease. Daily dental hygiene is best, but weekly brushing is better than nothing. Trim the nails every couple of weeks. Wipe the corners of the eyes with a soft, damp cloth to remove any discharge. 
use a separate area of the cloth for each eye so you don't run the risk of spreading any infection. Check the ears weekly. If they look dirty, wipe them out with a cotton ball or soft damp cloth moistened with a 50 to 50 mixture of cider vinegar and warm water. Avoid using cotton swabs, which can damage the interior of the ear. It's a good idea to keep a Corot and Chartreux as an indoor-only cat to protect them from diseases spread by other cats, attacks by dogs or coyotes, and the other dangers that face cats who go outdoors, such as being hit by a car. Corots and Chartreux who go outdoors also run the risk of being stolen by someone who would like to have such a beautiful cat without paying for it. Cats are obligate carnivores, meaning they eat almost exclusively meat. Their diet should consist of no more than 5% carbohydrates and most of their protein should come from an animal source. It's hard to accomplish this nutritional requirement by providing only dry food as most commercially available dry food contains a lot of carbohydrates, fillers, plant protein, and other ingredients that are not natural for a cat to eat. Another important consideration is your cat's water intake. Cats in the wild get most of their hydration from their diet, not by actually drinking water as most people think. Canned cat food is about 70 to 80% water, while dry food is only about 10% water. Although you can make up some of the water loss by providing a bowl or fountain of water, it's still not usually enough to cover the difference. If your cat is healthy and doesn't have special dietary requirements, then mainly wet food with dry food being supplementary and raw food being optional will likely be fine. Unless your cat has an exceptional ability to self-regulate its eating, it's not a good idea to leave out unlimited food all day, especially dry food. It's okay to leave dry or wet food out all day if you use measured portions that make sense for your cat's weight and activity level. Karats will appreciate the attention of a child who treats them respectfully, and they enjoy playing and learning tricks. With proper supervision, they can be a good companion for children. The tolerant and gentle Chartreux fits nicely in a home with children. He is more likely to walk away than to scratch if he doesn't like the way he is being handled. Parents with young children should always supervise interactions to make sure the cat isn't mistreated. Like many cats that originated in Southeast Asia, Karats tend to prefer other Karats. They can get along with other cats, and with dogs, but they expect to have pride of place. This may or may not go over well with other animals. The Karat likes to have company, however, and if he spends a lot of time with another cat or dog, they will likely become close friends. The Chartreux is happy to live with cat-friendly dogs, too, thanks to his amiable disposition. Introduce pets slowly and in controlled circumstances to ensure that they learn to get along together. If you enjoyed this video, kindly press the like button. Also don't forget to subscribe with notifications on, so that you don't miss out on videos like this. Thank you for watching.